Hey guys, welcome back to Token Tech. Today I want to talk about the new AMD laptops that are just coming out. So AMD has been in laptops for years. I mean, for a very long time. And their new Ryzen stuff has been out for a couple years on laptops, but never really was able to make a dent in the laptop market. Typically you saw these in cheaper laptops, lower power laptops, and they weren't really that compelling to buy. Some people still bought them. A lot of people had driver issues with them, but they didn't really win anyone over, right? They didn't win anyone in the market, let's put it that way, right? Um, and to be fair, when we talk about Intel, prior to Ryzen, Intel was dominating the CPU space entirely. That was both desktop, server, and laptop. Since Ryzen has come out, especially Zen 2 architecture, which came out last year, AMD's taken over the desktop market and has begun to take over the server market, right? Um, getting a lot more market share in the server market, which is where you make a lot of margin. Now, the other place you can make a lot of margin is in the laptop market. That is a huge market. Most people still buy laptops. Not many people buying desktops anymore. A lot more buying laptops and tablets. So you want to be in laptops. But AMD really didn't have any compelling offerings in laptops, especially for the higher end uh, market in laptops. But this all changes basically today with their new 4000 series laptops in uh CPUs in laptops, right? These are 8-core, 16-thread, some 6-core, but mostly 8-core, 16-threaded uh, CPUs in laptops. 8-series parts are out today um, with the U-series parts coming out later. H is for high-performance, U is for the, um, the more efficient CPUs. So we'll see those in the thin and light laptops. But the new ones that just came out really are changing up the game. Everyone thought they were going to be good, but we didn't know they'd be quite this good. Not only are they very competitive in terms of performance, but they also are in terms of battery life. So that was the big thing. People were talking about, hey, you know, these AMD chips are going to come out. They're going to be great. A core 16 threads in a laptop is going to be great, but heat and power is going to be an issue. Well, heat seems to be just fine with the new Asus laptop that everyone's reviewing. And power efficiency actually seems to be pretty dang good, just as good as Intel's power efficiency. Um, I think Eber from Hardware Canucks put it in the best way, where he said this is the performance of a gaming laptop, because these are the 8 series chips with uh, NVIDIA graphics, but can also have the battery life of a thin and light laptop. I think they were getting around 8 to 10 hours of light use with their model, which is crazy awesome when you think about it that way. So you can have the performance when you need it, and you can have the battery life when you need that. Um, and the price also seems to be quite competitive as well with the price of his laptop coming in at 1500 which had you know an SSD 2060 um, this 8 core new chip from AMD uh, 16 gigs of RAM a 120 Hertz a 1080p um, monitor so like all this stuff is pretty good for $1,500 more than I would spend but for some people out there that's a really good deal so these chips seem to be really amazing. Now the other market that we're gonna see them coming into is the thin and light, right? We kind of alluded to that already. And this is where Intel really shines because their chips are very power efficient. So they're able to have these four core, these quad core chips in these thin and lights and give people tons of battery life for people who don't need to do super heavy workloads but want battery life. And that's kind of where I fall into with laptops. I don't need a laptop to do a lot of crazy work. I just need a laptop to last me throughout the work day without me having to lug around a charger with me. Well, if the battery life in these high performance chips is to is going to tell us anything is that the lower performance or the more power efficient chips that are going to come out are going to be even more power efficient and going to have even better battery life. That's something that we can basically assume at this point, seeing the performance of the higher power chips. Why is that? Because they're basically the same chips in the high performance or sorry, high efficiency chips. They're the same ones, just down clocked and with more power limitations on them. So we should see just, you know, even better battery life than we're already seeing, which again is crazy awesome because one of the big things people were talking about is how are they going to compete on battery life? Intel is so good on battery life. Well, we're seeing it and it seems like they're going to compete quite well on battery life. And the last thing I want to talk about is how we're going to move forward with laptop testing. Now, I don't do laptop testing. It's quite complicated. There are tons of variables to account for, and a lot of which you can't really account for or eliminate just because this is, you know, an all-in-one product, okay? But a lot of people were getting upset when people are testing things like Cinebench or editing and rendering video, you know, higher 
demanding workloads on these thin end lights, saying, well, no one buys thin end lights for that. But this could all change because I don't think it's that no one bought them for that. It's that no one could do those workloads on these older thin end lights, being with dual cores and four core CPUs. Now, since we have AMD coming out with an eight core, 16 thread thin end light CPU, these workloads might actually become possible for thin end light laptops and for people who want to buy something like that. I find that to be much more compelling to have a thin and light laptop that can do those workloads when I need to once in a while, but also gives me the battery life that I need every single day. So to me, that's more compelling and I am excited to see how we transition into this new space of testing thin and lights when now we have thin and lights that can have eight cores and 16 threads. It's going to be pretty amazing to see how that works out. Now, of course, you have Intel coming out with their 10th generation later this year and we'll also be able to see how they all stack up compared to one another but this is awesome for amd this is awesome for competition in the market and awesome for everyone out there who waited because there were some naysayers out there saying just buy what you need today don't worry it's not going to be that amazing and well it was better than we thought it was going to be let me know down below how you feel about these new amd chips in laptops are you going to buy one if you are tell me which one you're going to grab and why and i'll catch you guys in the next video